Namaste and Hare Krishna. So I have a little video for you guys today. Um, I'm going to make two videos today, so if you see me wearing the same outfit tw two videos in a row, I promise you i changed since then. It's just that it is cold here in Minnesota, so I'm wearing like a thermal sweatshirt. It is outside, it is negative five degrees out, which is pretty cold. It's not as cold as it could be in January, but it's cold. I am somebody who doesn't enjoy the cold at all, so this is just how it is. So anyway, I'm going to share with you some hair goals and what I'm going to be doing for 2020 because I really, really want my hair to hit below waist length, It's, but it might not happen, and I'm okay if it doesn't, but that is just my goal. I don't want to cut it. I don't want to do anything at all, and I actually just got a trim. Um, in early December before my birthday. My birthday was the 24th. I think it was like a week or maybe two weeks before my birthday because I wanted to get it done before my birthday because I wanted my hair to look nice. And so what I did was I got a half inch cut off from my hair. I, t I was at, I was almost at like mid back leg, but I had a, them cut like a half an inch off. So I was like, Boy, I was like back in my in, in between point between bra strap and mid back length. And if you don't know what bra strap and mid back mid back length are, is that bra strap length is when your hair hits your bra strap, and mid back length is when it's like below your bra strap. Now my hair is at mid back length, which I which I thought was just like blowing my mind, and I decided I'm gonna keep up with this hair routine because it seems to be working for me. Um, also, I got my bangs cut. I wasn't originally going to get them cut. I was kind of like, mm -hmm. I was not sure about it. But basically what happened was is that my bangs have not been cut or trimmed since I had my hair disaster two years ago. And my bangs refused to go below my chin. They would go on my, they would just hang out my chin. And I just figured, okay, maybe that hair is just growing, you know, taking a longer time to grow. But basically, I went in, and the woman said, you know what? You have split ends, like three inches of split ends. And basically, what a split end does is it weakens the ends of the hair, and it causes them to break off faster. And the only way to treat a split end is just to get it cut. That's the only way to, like, fully get rid of them. There is no serum. There is no magic potion. There's no nothing. And that was a little saddening, but you know what? I had a backup plan. Like, I had a picture that I'm like, you know what? Let's just cut the bangs completely. She was originally just going to do, like, a slight side bang. Just to, like, the minimum amount to cut off. And, like, you know what? I want my bangs straight across again. Let's try it. And she was like, oh, okay. Then you're, she was like, yo, you do know you're going to be cutting off, like, an inch, like, extra inch of, like, good hair. Like, it's going to be good hair. Because she wanted to cut it just here. Like, to, like, blow my eye. And I said, you know, let's do it. And so I got them cut straight across just above my eyebrows. You can see pictures of it. But now, as you can see, they are not just above my eyebrows anymore. They are completely in my eyes. They've grown that much in, like, a month. Actually, now it's, like, a month and a few days. But they've grown that much to the point where I'm using them as side bangs now. And I should probably show you this length of my hair, but it is very, very long. Like, it's, this is the longest I've ever, ever had my hair. As you can see, my bra strap would normally sit, like, right here, and my hair is, like, about half an inch below it. So my hair actually grew, like, an inch last month, which is crazy because I was... Even though I normally take really good care of my hair, I did not realize, like, how good I was taking last month. Because I ended up having to sh switch my shampoo and my conditioner. I'm now using conditioner and shampoo that is sulfate-free. It is paraben-free. It is really good. And it really gets my hair clean without stripping things. Like, when I get out of the shower, if I just use shampoo, my hair still feels really soft. And this is my natural hair texture. It is a loose wave, a very, very loose wave, as you can see, and it mostly starts after my chin with this loose wave, 
<laughs> it smells like coconut. And my shampoo and conditioner contain a lot of coconut oils. It contains like a lot of herbs. It's just really nice. And it's, I think it's only a local brand, so I'm not going to share it on here, but you could find something very similar online. I use that, and then I use a leave-in conditioner. And the leave-in conditioner can probably find a lot better leave-in conditioner. I'm not happy with it, but it does the job, so I'm just going to use it. So that's my story on that, is that I'm not completely happy with it. But anyway, I've been doing once, maybe twice a week, I've been doing castor oil, hot oil treatments on my scalp, and I've actually noticed a very big difference on my hair, even though I'm just using it on my scalp. Like, my hair just feels more bouncy, it feels like I have more volume to it, and I think that's why my hair's been growing, because I just kind of started getting back into using castor oil. Um, for the last month or so, I've been using, uh, not full castor oil, but it has castor oil in it, and it has peppermint in it. And that seems to be doing the job really well with growing my hair. Like, my hair feels so long. It feels so good. Like, I don't know. I'm just very, very happy with my hair growth. And another goal I have is I want to kind of start growing out these layers. So when my hair does reach the point where I want to reach, I do think I'm going to chop it off so I can get the layers gone. So I really don't like having all these like little short pieces, as you can see, that don't come as long. Because the back is like the longest, right? The back of your hair is always going to be longer because, you know, your hair is like down further on your scalp. But like, when I got it cut in, was it last April? It was just before the yoga retreat trip. They cut layers in it when I said I didn't want layers, and that's been bugging me. So anyway, for 2020, the goal is is to keep using shampoos and conditioners that are not, that do not contain sulfates, do not contain parabens, basically natural. I want to get back to as much natural stuff as possible. And another goal of mine is to keep my hair in protective styling, which is basically your hair's up and your ends are tucked in, so they're not exposed to, like, the cold here in Minnesota. So I'm then wearing my hair in, like, buns or, like, in two braids, mostly. And another thing is I'm going to try to only use heat on my hair once a year. I only used heat on my hair once a year last year, but that was very difficult. I really wanted to straighten my hair for my birthday. But I remember I straightened it in July, even though I did not use like a very high heat setting and my hair was still very wavy. It was still heat on my hair and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to get rid of my hair yet. I don't want to like do any damage to it. Because, you know, if I do damage to it, then I'm going to want to cut it off because it's not going to feel nice. So my goal is to get as long as possible. And I think I'm going to try saving it until... My birthday this next year so I can see actually how long it is but we're gonna see if I end up straightening it twice this year I'm not gonna beat myself up but the goal is is that when I was first growing out my hair I was straightening it like every single day and I was using dye on it and that is why like my ends are not as thick as my roots are and that's just my goals and another thing is I'm going to try to do a, like, a head massage every night. I normally, I would just keep my bun in to protect my ends, like, constantly. So it would be, like, like, constantly just up. And I'd never take it down until wash day, and I would, wa I would like, detangle it. But now I'm going to try to do, like, a, like a thorough scalp massage each night. And once a month, I'm going to do the inversion method. What the inversion method is, is when you do like a week, and you do like a massage, like a really deep massage, and then you flip your head over. <laughs> you flip your hair over, and then you put it, you know, for like five minutes, I think, four or five minutes. I've been doing that recently, and I, I don't know if it's working, but I'm still going to do it, because the maximum hair growth is the best hair growth. Um, another thing is I've kind of revamped my diet again, so I'm trying to eat more, like, nuts. I'm allergic to peanuts, if you don't know. So I'm eating, like, more, like, almonds, um, 
pistachios. I've been eating more like soy just to get more protein in my diet because I have realized that I haven't been eating much protein. That's just not because, oh, I don't like protein. It's just that I've been craving bread lately. So I will eat bread before I eat anything else. And then by the time I'm done eating bread, and I think that's mostly just because of like, it's winter and it's like our natural desire here in Minnesota is to get as fat as possible, therefore you're staying warm. Um, I do know that I've gained about 10 pounds since fall started. Like in the summer I was like 130 and now I'm like 140 something. I'm still at a healthy, healthy weight, so I'm not mad about it, and I'm still fitting into most of my clothes. Granted, I don't think I'm going to be able to fit in some of my shorts, but, you know, as long, you know, most of my clothes are adjustable, because I mostly have Indian clothes, you know, because, you know, my skin's really pale, so then in the summer... I can just put it on and I don't have to worry about my skin burning off. But that this is so far what I have figured out what I'm going to be doing with my hair. Please let me know in the comments below if you're going to be also in this challenge. And I will see you in the next video. Stay tuned. Bye-bye. Namaste and Hare Krishna.